Hi, my name is Al Sartor for and I'm someone who is considered disabled and incompetent and isn't capable of doing much or anything. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> yeah, just kidding. That's just what most people would have think or assume. Unless you're superficial and closed minded which is rather foolish and just shows how much you're only underestimating me. I said that underestimating me. Looks can be nothing but deceiving, and I am living proof of that. Yeah, this video is going to be a bit different from all my other videos. Even my past two vlogs, well, it's, yeah, as you can probably already tell by the way I started it. So, yeah, I mean, chances are, well, this video might take a turn for the worst, or take a dark turn. It just depends on what I talk about in this video. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. When I talk about this video and I really say how I feel with what I'm talking about, it's just some things I can't stand when I tell about myself. But, hey, that's essentially what this video is about. About me. This video is about me. Yes, about me. And... It's also kind of a thank you video, so for the thank you part of this video, you'll have to watch to the very end, so do please watch to the very end of this video to see the part where I have to say thank you to you, my subscribers, yeah, so please watch to the very end when I when get to that part, watch to the very end of that video, part of the video to get that part of the video, alright, you know, please watch to the very end for the Part where I say thank you. Okay. Oh, anyways, moving on. So, yeah, this is about me. And thank you, Thirst, or later. Yeah. This is about me, where I tell you things about myself so you can understand things about me with some things you may have questions you would probably ask me. But if you have questions you would ask me, you can ask those questions. Like, if there are questions. I didn't say or answer throughout this video that you may want to ask me. You can ask those questions in the comments down below. Put those put those questions you may have for me in the comments down below, and I'll respond to some of those questions in a later video that will be a response to this video. I'll respond to the to the questions in the comments down below to this video. So yeah, I'll respond to your questions in the comments for another video. If you leave them in the comments down below for this deal. So, yeah. Anything I less than just anything I may not have an answered, chances are anything I say throughout this video is things I may have said throughout all my past live streams or past videos that I've ever did since I first started making videos on YouTube. Maybe I'll get to that too, but why I mean not on YouTube, but yeah. Huh. Right. So, without further ado, huh, let's begin, shall we? About me. I still, so, what should I begin with telling you about something about me? Hmm, well, for starters, one of the first things you probably. So, excuse me. One of the first things that probably crosses your mind is when you first see my videos is this. Yeah, you see me, right? Hello, hi, ah, yeah, you see my face. Right? Every time you see my face, well, anyone who's new comes along my videos, the first thing you see is me, right? My face. What's up with my face? Dude, whoa, what happened to your face? Did you get in a car accident or something? Yeah, some people may like wonder and something like that. No, don't be ashamed. No, no, there's nothing wrong with being curious or wondering why I look this way. Why do you look like this? What happened to your face? Do you have some kind of, you think, oh, some kind of, me. My nose, oh, I had to dig through gold in there. No, oh, that's disgusting. Sorry. No, I'm sick of video. Oh. Anyway, yeah, this, why I look this way, it's a mutation. So I'm basically born with what's called a genetic disorder, but it's called Treacher Collins Syndrome. Very, very rare. And there's a one out of what? Something, I can't remember what the number is, 2000? million or whatever something chance of someone else i have to relook that up again but you can always google search 
Treats are calling syndrome. In fact, you want try to Google search Treats are calling syndrome right now as you're watching the video. Don't click away from the video. Keep watching the video as you Google search Treats are calling syndrome. You might find something there aside from what I tell you. So it's like a cranial facial disorder. It's like a genetic disorder, a mutation. Well, yeah, and essentially like a mutant, but not a Ninja Turtle mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> How many times do I make that joke? See, that will have mutant powers. Like I can join the mute, I can join the the X Men, because I don't have mutant powers. But yeah, I'm just a mutant in real life. Because I, have, you know, treats are called sinus. This is you know, no cheekbones. These were here for a surgery that discontinued. And they're just implanted and they're just stuck there. So I was supposed to have some surgeries for me to get cheekbones. Like, I haven't had numerous surgeries. I don't even know where to begin to explain that. But yeah, it seems like I don't have any surgeries anymore because, you know, just. I don't remember, can't remember enough to explain that at this point right now. So I guess I wasn't prepared enough to explain that through the studio. But, you know, yeah, I, was, I don't have cheekbones, drooped eyes. Deformed ears. See, my ears are deformed here. He. <laughs> how many times are you gonna do that? Oh, I see, I have deformed ears. <laughs> Ew. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, deformed ears right here. You know, hardly a chin. See, it looks like I barely have a chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I barely have a chin and drooped eyes, deformed ears. My ears are deformed. I can't hear out of my own ears. No, I can't hear out of my ears. So this is the way I look. So everyone looks different, right? But I just look abnormally different. Yeah, I may look abnormally different, but we're all still different, unique in our own way. We're all special in our own way. Special is just another word for unique. Authentic, genuine. We're all unique and genuine. Even if I look at them, normally different. Yeah, you know, we all come with different strengths, weaknesses, traits. But yeah, this is very, very rare. You're very unlikely to find another person with it. I've probably only encountered two, or three people who've had it. At least two, I think, in in my life. Yeah. Of who else have a treacher called still. So if you haven't Google search Treacher Collins Treacher Collins Syndrome. Treacher Collins Syndrome. Did you get that right? Google search now if you want. And you know what? I'll leave it up on screen so, so you can read it. Yeah, that's it. Google search now if you'd like to look out more about this thing I was born with. It's a syndrome, you know, whatever. I wouldn't call it a vert defect, no, but yeah, it is a genetic disorder. So, yeah, and without my ears, see, my ears are deformed. I can't hear through normal headphones like everybody else. So I hear through vocal conduction. It brings you, which brings me to my next topic I'll tell you about is I have hearing aids. Yeah, since I can't hear through my ears, I'm not deaf. I can hear. I just don't hear as well as I do with hearing aids. So I, I'm wearing hearing aids. I am. See this thing right here? This thing, you can see it. That's a hearing aid. Yeah, hearing aid. And why do I have this headband on my head? I'm wearing a headband on my head because you always, throughout, of course, throughout my videos or when I'm live streaming, you probably notice me wearing this headband a lot in my videos. Why do you think I wear this headband on my head? This headband I'm wearing on the head, I can see myself on the screen when I look over here, but I love about that. So, see, this headband keeps my headphones from falling off my head. I wear bone conductive headphones. Since I have bone conductive hearing aids, like this hearing aid here, I can just, I'm just turn it off and take it off. See, I can just take it off. That's it. Yeah, you can see what it looks like right there. Yeah, that's the hearing aid. Here's the battery door. It's the battery door with the battery inside. <laughs> Little battery. Don't let the battery fall out. The battery. Yeah. I can barely hear right now since I took these off. I can close it and it'll turn on. I just do that right there in my head. Yeah. Ah. 
Right there. I just snapped it back on my head. Pop it. See, I just pop it back on. So I had like surgery and basically a little implant where I could pop this thing on the head to take it off when I go to sleep at night. So it's essentially like, you know, you plug your ears up with your fingers. That's how you hear with my hearing aids off. Yeah. I used to have a pair of hearing aids that look like headphones, but they're not headphones. They're actual hearing aids. They're hearing aids. They look like this. If you knew someone else in the past who had hearing aids that look like like headphones almost, but they just filled my head, so... Yeah, these headphones that wear on my head are phone conductive. I hear through phone connections, so my hearing aids are the cochlear implant, you know, cochlear Baja cochlear hearing aid, Baja cochlear hearing aid. I think I said that right, so... These headphones are not even on. I don't even need these headphones on, they just... I just had these on just to show you why I had the headband on in the first place throughout throughout all my other videos. I wear a headband on the head with this. <laughs> headphones. Yeah. I don't need this on. They're not even turned on. No, I don't need these on for this video. So I just took this is the only reason why I have this headband. To keep this on my head from falling off my head. See if I didn't have the headband and I just put this on my head like this. These will fall around. See how they're slipping off my head right now? They're slipping. I just put my ear and they slip like off. Because my ears, my ears are deformed. Deformed ears can't hold these from falling off my head. As you see, you look at them, your ears are supposed to go through here. And this part right here, this part right here, it sits alongside your cheekbone. But I don't have cheekbones and these just go against my head. Like right here and like against my head rather than right here is where you would have yours as this this loop excuse me this loop loop area right here is where your ear goes. Your ear is placed right here with this this around here. So it would look kinda like this. Like this for you. For your ears, but my ears, since my ears are small and tiny and deformed. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, excuse me, don't even do that, but yeah. There you small and tiny, you know. Uh, deformed ears. So see they just fall right off my head. These do trust me, believe it or not, if I just leave this on my head without these head these head without this headband, keep these headphones from falling off my head, it'll just slip right off my head over time like that. That's what'll happen. And I could I just I could just sit here and over time it'll just <laughs> it's it'll slip right off my head, so that's the reason why I have these headband headband this headband on my on my headphones to keep my headphones from falling off my head. That's why. Because layers are formed, so I don't need these on anyway, so I'm probably going to record a video with my headband without my headphones on. My mouth is getting dry, excuse me for a sec. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Ah, it's dry mouth, excuse me. Ah, that's where I think my mouth gets dry, I get dry mouth. Dry mouth, drink some water. It's just a cup full of water with a stroll. Okay, we're done. Stop screwing around. Let's get the point here, focus here, so... That's enough about my hearing aid. They're bone conductive. I hear through bone conduction. Hey, everybody can hear through the bone conduction. I mean, anybody can buy these. These are called aftershock headphones. Yeah, you could literally buy these yourself. These, most people who have these, they use them for, like, exercise. They listen to the phone, like, you know the Navy? The Navy had bone conductive headphones they were used in the military or Navy. Now these kind of headphones are in the general public, so anyone can buy any of these. Anyone can buy these. I just use them for listening to music, or you could use them to talk to people on the phone. We connect a phone to this. Yeah. You know, listen to music, or you listen to anything on the computer. That's why I use these when I'm streaming. They're Bluetooth. These are Bluetooth, and they're wireless. Yeah, headphones. Your ear goes through here, and this sits over your cheekbone. So, yeah. Remember that. 
You do not put this in your ear if you ever decide to buy one of these. They're called aftershocks. Aftershocks? I had a box down here, I can show you what it looks like. Do I have a box down here and show you what it looks like? I don't think I do, do I? Oh man! Where's the box? No, I do have a box. Just can't find it. Oh, here it is. I found it. Now, I'm, uh, I'm only showing you this. This I'm not advertising this though. I'm just showing you this to show you what. See, that's what it's called. Wireless Trex Titanium. This is the box for it. Go get yourself a pair if you'd like. But I'm not advertising. I'm just showing you. The people who gave me this, people, someone literally gave me this. Like, just, they gave it to me for free. I'm like, I can't really explain that. That's kind of just, yeah, aftershocks. Look at, you can look up the website for this thing. And if you'd like to get these for like, you know, sports, like a dragon, you wear this on your head and it sits over your, it sits over the loop of your ears and you can just listen to music with them. That's why I have these, see? Phone conduction headphones. It says down here, but I don't probably can't see it, but nah. That's what this is. This is the box that these came in that I use when I listen to music. So they can't wear normal headphones because they can't go over my ear. They're deformed. Deformed ears. With this you no know, Treacher Collins syndrome mutation I was born with. Very, very rare and uncommon. So, yeah. That's enough about my ears and why I wear those headphones and why I wear that headband on my head all the time throughout every one of my videos. There you go. You know that now. You know why I look this way. It's called Treasure Constant. Now, I'm next, the next thing I'll probably tell you about is, well, probably like my life, social life, personality, or disorders. I'm said to have disorders. I'm considered, you know, disabled or whatever, but yeah. I've been said to be income headed, but I don't believe that. And I find that kind of offensive when I talk about this stuff, but well, I don't believe that for a sec, but I'm self-aware enough to know what I'm capable of or what I can do. But that's why I say a lot of people tend to underestimate me, you know, like down through my life and people just see it. I'm, I'm used to going through my life just being underappreciated taken for granted, like, just degraded, you know, just neglected, just, oh, I guess am I talking about my social life now? Social life is just, like, I pretty much grew up being outcast. You know, I grew up being outcast or alienated from people because I guess I'm just weird or I just don't fit in or anything like that. And last, I guess the fact that so it's being underappreciated in the grade of life. I tend to feel that way a lot, but I guess when I'm around people, when I'm around people, it's just, I don't know, I can't help but feel like I'm, I just feel alienated when I'm around people. It's like, is alienated another word for loneliness or lonely? I, I guess if you look at it that way, but I guess I sort of tend to just feel that way but from time to time, but I don't know. Weird how I may act when I'm around people, it's different from when I'm on camera or when I'm live streaming or recording a video. My troubles when I'm around people tend to go away. It's like I do, you know, everyone has these unconscious habits that you do that's part of our subconscious mind where you know, when you do something, you don't even realize you do it like. Oh, you did a reflex. You don't think about doing a reflex, right? You do things without thinking about it. You know, people call it second nature. It's second nature that you did it. You didn't think about doing it. We all do these habits that we didn't do intentionally. We didn't think about doing it. We just did it. Like, I do things when I'm around. I, I guess one could say when I'm around people, I seem like a jerk. Okay? Just uncut. You, some of you may find this hard to believe with the way I come off and seem through my videos or when I'm live streaming. I seem like a genuine nice person, right? Well, I could say I'm kind-hearted or light-hearted, but I don't know, I guess I'm kind-hearted on the inside. But on the outside, I don't appear that way when I'm around people because my unconscious mind, like, I unconsciously do things that I don't really mean, like, Sometimes I guess you could say I'm, I'm just not in the right mind or 
and that was just not in the mood. Like, I'll say, I'll probably say some mean things or so, or something like that to some people. I never really actually meant it, but I don't know, it's just, I'll say things I never really actually meant. It's just, I, I do things unconsciously that I never, so I feel like I'm a jerk against my own will when I'm around people. Like, you may find this hard to believe because I don't seem like a jerk. Well, when I'm recording and I'm sitting in front of the camera or live streaming, it's different. All those things I do unconsciously that I have no control over the things I do, that I, it's not a conscious choice. I didn't consciously do that. I had no control over the fact that I did that. I did it without thinking, you know, autopilot. You know, the people in their nine to five jobs, they're doing things on autopilot. They don't even think about the things they do. They just do it because they've been doing it every day they go to work. You well, know, it's just something you do without thinking about. You do these habits, like you could say negative habits or limiting beliefs or bad habits of like the reasons I do those negative things or something towards people probably because my early childhood, I guess. That's my only reason. I'm so self-aware. I know like why I may do these things that I don't even actually think about. It. I was like, why did I just do that? I even only did it the second I just did it. I didn't think about doing it. I just did it. Like, ugh. Like, yeah, just unconscious. I believe it has to do with my early childhood experiences. And like, I essentially grew up being outcast, alienated. Like, I was taken advantage of people finding me. People tend to find me as an easy target to take advantage of. Because I look like an easy target for people to take advantage of. That's what I experience a lot in my life. Like, the integrated and underappreciated. Just, like, eh. I actually stopped trying to fit in. Like, I know it's stupid. It's just the way I see it. Eh. Just, yeah, why even trying to fit in? I'd rather be true to myself than try to fit in at all. Just, that's what I did. I'm so self aware. I mean, seriously, if I act so weird all the time, like you saw me do in my first vlog, dude, if I even cared at all what anyone else thought about me, what anyone thinks of me, do you think I would really put a pair of underwear over my head? Yes, I did. I put a pair of boxes on my head in the first video. I was just being humorous. I had this weird off-the-wall humor. Or, I guess you could say my humor is witty, off-the-wall. Sometimes dark humor. I have some dark humor. I just have a weird off-the-wall, like, humor. It's like, that's, I guess you could say my personality other than being a lighthearted person. I guess you could say my personality is a bit, you know, quirky. Let me look up the word quirky. Yeah, quirky. Let's see here. Oh, there it is, quirky. Let me look up the word quirky on the internet. Quirky definition. Yeah, this is here. Quirky. Huh. Let me show you here. A little reaction to you see. Uh, you can see it here. You can see this little case on the screen. I don't know if you can, but what do I do? Let me just zoom in. There you go, now you can see what I'm looking at. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. Quirky. You could say I'm quirky, yeah. Quirky. Because uh, I'm pretty weird. I'm a pretty weird person. I'm, so yeah, I could say I'm quirky. Uh, eccentric is another word for weird. Idiosyncratic. Uh, unconventional. I use that word a lot. I am very unconventional. I'm a very unconventional person. Yeah. So I, know, I am unorthodox. Unusual, mm -hmm. off center, strange, bizarre, weird, peculiar, odd, freakish, outlandish, off the, out of the ordinary, bohemian, alternative, zany, <laughs> outro, wacky, ah, well, freaky, kinky, uh, I'll just ignore that word, I'll pretend I didn't see that word, kinky, uh. Mm. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyway, way out. Yeah, I'm way out there. Far out. <laughs> Kooky, cuckoo. Mm -hmm. Oddball. Off the wall. There you go. There's a word off the wall. Seriously, when I read all these words, these words literally sound like me. Hey, describe me. Off the wall. In the left field. Bizarro. I'm not Thoro Bizarro. No, I'm not Bizarro. Like from Superman Bizarro. <laughs> not related to that guy, but okay, that's. Completely different character from different time. Whoa, you couldn't even see me. So, sorry. <laughs> Oops. 
I was talking like this the whole time and couldn't see my face. Oh, no, 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 no. I just now realized that. <laughs> yeah. Weird, quirky, oddball, off the wall, like I said, bizarro. Yeah. Those are all the things that would describe me. Quirky, yeah. I say I'm a high spirited, you know, person. You know, free spirited, carefree person. You know, lighthearted, kind of. You know, a high spirited kind of person. Uh, yeah, that's enough because I'm talking about my personality. Or these things actually do kind of describe me a bit, but yeah, they actually do. Those are just some words that I find that actually, oops, they actually describe me. Yeah, those words. So, yeah, quirky. That's one word that describes me. Not just one word, but all those words I just used. Actually, scramble. Despite the fact you could not see my face when I had them locking me, I was like, oh, like this at one point. But <laughs> funny. Oops, forgot to move the webcam when I did that. But yeah, I showed you those words because they definitely <laughs> describe me. A little weird. I'm like a freaking cartoon character who does not belong, who does, who's, who's in the real world and like I'm misplaced in the wrong universe. I should be in a cartoon universe. So it's like I'm a cartoon character in the real world who's misplaced from the cartoon world into the real world. Why am I not inside a cartoon world when I should be in a cartoon world instead of the real world? This is the weird way of putting it. I'm not a cartoon, what am I saying? I'm just, I guess I'm a weird person. If you see my first, first vlog, you know I put underwear in the head. I'm just being weird. If I care too much about what other people think of me, just, I'm self-aware, okay? I'm so self-aware enough that I don't give a crap what one thinks or says that me or something. Like, you know what? I don't need you to tell me how I am. I know how I am, okay? I'm self-aware enough to know how I am. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know I said something like this in one of my other videos, my reaction videos over, like, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, for example. I did say something like this. Like, dude, I literally feel like I have nothing to lose or gain in life because of, well, I basically grew up being outcast and alienated. So used to it, it's like I had this no true alignment stance mentality, like when I ambiguity, ambigu ambiguous or something, around just people know, like, I don't know, it's just, what am I saying? I couldn't even say what I'm even trying to say when I got to that point, but. Yeah, it's enough about my personality and disorders. Like, all I'm said to have Asperger's or, yeah, said to have Asperger's, which is, it's part of the same spectrum as autism, Asperger's, or whatever. And they'll just, like, oh, that's st stupid. It literally doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything to me. Doesn't say anything about who I am. It's a claim. Now that like, people say I, they said I've been diagnosed with Asperger's or ADHD or OCD, or like, so why am I now being told that I have some of this stuff or any other so called disorder they claim that I have? Just, or they even say I'm incompetent. And because of that, like, chances of even getting a job or career somewhere out there is just seems slim to, for working for somebody out there. I feel like my chances for working for anyone is just very slim, and that's why I feel like I'm just trying to find some way to make any work for myself, at least, like, since I graduated, like, like high school and just been in college since 2008, to start doing, like, I had my major as computer graphics major in college. And I switched my major to like a gaming degree. So I'm trying to get a gaming degree, like they become a game developer or something. Like, and they do something like become a freelance game developer or an indie game, but indie game developer or something like that. That's kind of something I may do when I'm going to college. Because I know I mentioned in my second vlog, I do college classes over gaming, gaming classes over college at, at college. This college gaming classes I've been taking, and I said I was gonna make videos over those classes that I've been taking, like you know, constant art class, uh, visual effects class I took, a level design class I took these past semesters. I was gonna show you some videos of the, of the stuff that I checked out that I did those, but I know I will get to those 
eventually at some point like i know i say things i i know i say lots of things that i'll do but it never seems to happen no it'll happen i'll get to eventually if you, dude i may plan for things but things won't always go as i plan that's why i was i always try to improvise there's no guarantee that whatever i say i'll do won't really happen when i say i will i pl i'm just planning that's all i'm doing i'm just planning see my point is from my experience I can plan for things to, but I can't, I can plan for things to happen, but I can't expect those things to happen because I have a plan. So I usually, that's like, kind of like, it's what I plan to do, but I can't guarantee it will happen. So I'll at least try to improvise and try to do what I was planning on doing, even despite the fact it may not really happen what I want it to happen. So it's kind of like valve time you know valve says this is this game will come out in the summer oh no it comes out two months or a year later even though they say it was going to come out in the summer <laughs> that's what valve does it's almost like that with me you know say it's landed is it's like i'm still trying to do it it will happen all right i'm persistent i'm persistent oh excuse me perseverance persistence resilience i'm very resilient i'm so persistent perseverance it's like it's not in my nature to give up. It's really impossible for me to give up or something. It's just like, it, like I even I can't even like give up even in my sleep. And it's just look at I'm just being weird. It's like I unconsciously can't give up. I just can't give up even if I wanted to. It's just not my nature to I'm so persevering and I just keep going. And like I'm so resilient. It doesn't matter to me how many times I lose because the way I see it my mouth keeps getting so dry excuse me every time we talk my mouth gets really dry so excuse me for that so yes what was i saying oh like i'm resilient it doesn't matter to me how many times i lose or not or not because i know i'll eventually win if i keep trying you know I mean, the, the whole saying that oh if you win a lot, you're good, or you lose a lot, you're terrible. That's a very pessimistic, like, like, deadly downer way of looking at it. That seems like a negative outlook about, like, defining on how a person is good or bad based on their win-loss ratio. Like, no, someone with a win-loss ratio of winning a whole lot and hardly ever losing, means you, 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 you barely even have much of a challenge. One word, challenge. If you don't have much of a challenge, you're not challenging yourself enough. If you're winning a lot, you're not challenging yourself a lot. If you're losing a lot, that doesn't mean you're terrible. That just means you got yourself a real challenge. Whatever you're doing, it's really hard. It is really challenging. Yeah, <laughs> just keep at it and you'll improve over time. Have some persistence. You know, persistence is key. You know, perseverance. If you ever want to succeed in anything in life, gotta have a lot of perseverance, persistence. You know, I may be considered incompetent or whatever, all these so-called disorders that they claim to have, but I'm self-aware enough to just think all that stuff feels like a hoax. Like, why am I being told now that I have these so-called disorders? Like, the only ones I know of all sure answers at five or five, whatever. I mean, really, I'm so self-aware enough that I know that all I have is this creature calling syndrome thing and deformed ears and hearing aids that's it i'm self-aware enough to know that that's really just pretty much what i have i mean people take the word disabled and think oh it means you can do something disabled does not mean you're unable to do something that's most likely what people get the idea when they hear the word disabled but no it doesn't mean i can't do it it just means you do do, do things differently People who are labeled, it's just a label. People who are labeled disabled do things differently. And you could say rather unconventionally because they don't do things like the conventional norm or way people do. I'm so conventional, I'm so unconventional. A lot of things I do in my life are rather unconventional. I don't tend to do a lot of the norm conventional things or ways that a lot of people do. Following my own lifestyle is probably unconventional because, well, I mean, I mean, I'm not handicapped. I can stand up, see? I'm standing up. <laughs> you can't see that camera, but yeah, here, right. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, people underestimate me a lot. They take me for granted, or just sometimes I say that. I, can't, I feel like I can't even say what I'm going to try to say at the point now. Like I'm saying, that yeah, someone just came in when I was doing this blah, blah here. Anyways, yeah, what I'm saying here. What was I saying? God damn it. I literally forget what I was saying. That's my train of thought because just someone just came in my room when I was doing this stuff. Anyways, yeah, if I can remember what I was saying. God, I literally can't remember what I was saying. Darn it. Yeah, top. Why do you do that? Personality disorders. Yeah, it's just. Oh. It just means you do things differently. It doesn't mean you can't do it. Disabled means people do... People who are disabled just do things differently from other people. They can still do it. You just do it differently your own way because you're unique. You're unique in your own way. There's no one else there out there like you. There's no one... There's not another person like mm. anyone. Everybody is unique. No, we're all unique. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses. So... Why and try why try to do the same thing the same way as someone else? We can do the same thing but differently in our own way, you know? It's you like you're competing with someone, just do it the same thing you're competing at differently in your own unique way. Use embrace your own your own strengths, your own weaknesses. It's better to be like self aware of what you can do, you know? Yeah, that's what I was saying there, the whole thing where that's what I consider disabled. It just means those people do things differently, whether it's considered handicapped or whatever. But, yeah, I think I explained that, yeah, in the social life, I already said that, just, yeah, just, like I said, I grew up in Yonkast, so like, I don't do well around people, I travel around people, like, oh, that's why they say I've Asperger's, just, I don't know, like, I kind of find that really annoying or offensive, but I don't know, apparently right now I'm not really bothered as I'm explaining it that right now, but it really doesn't mean anything about it, but it doesn't say much about the personality or who I am down to my core essence, my, you know, my character, my character, the way I see it, the one thing that matters most in a person is their character, everything else about a person, like their ethnicity, their age, you know, what, what they are, what they look like, just that's all like that's all on the outside what really matters is you know when people say what matters is on the on the inside that's your your core essence your personality your character that has to do with that has to do with you you that that is what proves how genuine and unique you are compared to everyone else that's why there's not another you there's only one of you so why compare yourself why bother and worry about people try being self-aware try Try learning about yourself. I don't believe in this whole philosophy where of changing who you are as you get older. I don't believe in that. I believe in actually getting to know myself and actually being who I really am, my true self. You know, so I'm not going to change who I am year after year. No, I'd rather take the time to get to know myself and be who I really am. I'd rather be who I am, not change who I am year after year. I mean, hey, look. You can change who you are, but the real question is, are you being true to yourself? Probably not, you know? I thought, that's all I ever wanted to be, is just true to myself. And I am a weird person, random off the wall kind of person. That's just part of who I am. Even my mother may not like the fact that I act that way or do those things, but... Yeah, I'm not going to put on a facade, because the thing is, I've never once put on a facade throughout any of my videos. Now, I mean, yeah, there are times where I get frustrated and I look like I'm gonna rage. If I don't rage quit, never rage quit. Not because I'm too persistent, resilient. I always come back. Like I said earlier, a while ago. I think I said so much there. Life, like what do I do in my life? Well, like I said, go to college. I used to go like, you know, for computer graphics. I was in the first major, second major, human degree, you know, like I said a while ago, or college, that's why I've been going to college, and as a job right now currently, I work as a courtesy clerk at a grocery store. Yeah, I work as a courtesy clerk at a grocery store. So, of course, I ask people, would you like paper or plastic? 
Yeah, and I help people with their groceries and put them in the cart. I help them with the groceries to their car. <laughs> help them the groceries, take the groceries out of the, out of the cart, put them in the car, and then take the cart back inside. So I help people with their groceries to their car and then bring the car all the way back inside. Because it'll leave the carts out in the parking lot. That's kind of a, it's what we do at this grocery store I go to. It's called Market Street, but yeah, that's that's the kind of job I have right now as a currency clerk. Because I like to help people, despite my troubles around people. It's like I don't know for some reason. It's like I wonder is this person worth helping, or should I help this person or should I not? It just depends on their character on who they are as a person. That's why I look into a person and how I see a person. But yeah. I feel like I'm going on like seeing the lunch and stuff here as I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I think I said a lot about myself here really in terms of life, social life, personality disorder. I feel like I didn't say it exactly how I thought I would be saying it. Because I I wanted to put a lot of thought in this video, you know. It's really, I've been thinking about this video since summer. The, what I was really going to do for this video was, you know, it was a thank you video for the fact that I had so many people from when I was on Mixer doing a live reaction stream. I'll get to that later in a bit. You know what I'm talking about? You're, you know, you're one of those people that are in my subscribers right now who came from Mixer and subscribed to my YouTube channel. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about you. You know who you are. <laughs> Oops, I'm going to do that. Sorry. Or, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. I'll get to that later in a bit. I think I said enough about my life, social life, personality disorder, one other thing. I just say personality disorder, excuse me. No, I just meant my personality or my disorders that are said. I don't believe any of that. I'm self aware enough to just think all those stuff is like nocebo. It's like, oh, you tell somebody they have something and. You tell somebody they have something enough that you convince them enough to believe that they actually have something when there's nothing really there. It's like no, it's like placebo. Only placebo is a positive effect. Nocebo is a negative effect. So it's like nocebo. These so-called disorders that people say I have are like nocebo. They're not. They're not really there to me. It's like. All my life, I just thought, oh, I just had treats or call syndrome. I just had this mutation with deformed ears and I wear hearing aids. That's it. I can do anything just, to, just, to, just as much as anybody else can do. I can do things just like anybody, any other so-called normal person. Just, yeah, I can, I'm, I can do a lot of things. I, I can't think of a thing I'm not capable of doing. Like I'm kind of the jack of all trades myself because. I had a lot of experience and knowledge doing a variety of things in my life. Yeah, I used to play a lot of different sports, but all right. I'm just going on and talking about a lot about this stuff here, but I'll tell you, I guess I can tell you more of this stuff like later. Unless you have any questions you'd like to ask me about anything I've said or maybe anything I haven't said, or again, leave those in the comments down below and I'll read them for another video if you want. It's up to you. But yeah. I think that's it for life, social, like, and all that stuff. And that life and all that. Yeah, that's enough about that. But, yeah. Anyway, it's about my channel update. This wasn't exactly a video where I do, like, a channel update, like, a first and second video. But, speaking of that, if you want to like, what I've been doing, you wonder what I've been doing throughout the whole year of 2019. Well, you can look in the description down below. You'll see... All those, all those links to playlists. That's every seasonal event playlist that I've done throughout the year 2019 since 2018, since the beginning of 2018. That's what all those are. Those are my past videos over seasonal event videos, which is, I kind of have like a little niche. It's kind of like my own niche where I do videos over seasonal events. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, you know, like say uh, spring, like lunar, lunar New Year, spring, summer, uh, fall, like Halloween, or and then winter, like Christmas, or you know, Easter, like you know, those are seasonal events. Yeah, the thing is that how I've been creating that content, you can't even think about those kind of making videos over those kind of things. Is you can't 
really plan ahead or schedule those kind of videos. You can't schedule or plan ahead a video over that stuff. No, it's like it's, they're time limited. It's a time limited event. So that's why the way I've been making videos in the past is just hard, just stressful about how I've been producing those videos. I wasn't able to really schedule or plan most of my videos. Like, wasn't able to get to other videos like Smash Bros. Like I mentioned a whole lot. And I did upload a Smash Bros. video already. I did that in November, no, around November 30th. And then it's something about the World of Light, but yeah, the, you know, playing through World of Light. But I will, I'm still following on, on the, any of the other videos soon, but probably soon after this vlog in the future. Yeah, this video is supposed to be more like a, at the end of the year of 2019 into year 2020. Hopefully, let's see how things go in 2020 or in the future my seasonal event videos it's a sense of the whole one of my channel start from doing things like reaction videos playthroughs walkthroughs whatever on my channel stuff like that it's a lot of stuff i want to do on my channel but i mean i kind of started doing youtube that's something i just i guess say it's a hobby or something but i mean youtube as a career it's, that's not up to me not up to me on whether something like that would happen. I mean, really, it's not up to me for that to happen. That's really up to you guys on whether or not I have YouTube as a career or streaming as a career or something like that. That's kind of just not up to me. It's up, that's up to the, the followers or subscribers. I mean, it's, you know, when you have a bunch of people watching you, it's, that's, that's how it happens. It's not all because of me. It's all because of you guys. You guys are how I get I'm able to do that. It would all be it would all be because of you guys on how I would be able to do stuff like that. And that's the part where I'm trying to get to the whole thank you part of this video. Like I said, never really the beginning of the video. I said this is like a thank you video to those who subscribe to my channel. Really, thank you. I can't believe that at this point I had like over sixty subscribers now because wow. Then I didn't really expect that many people to be subscribed to my channel or even watch my videos. Like, I'm surprised that, you know, people actually, like, you actually like watch my videos? Like, I just make these videos because I enjoy making them. Like, I genuinely like making these videos. So, sure, I'll continue making these videos, but, like, I don't make my videos just for someone else's approval or anything. I don't make my videos for trying to get a bunch of subs or views or anything. But, I just do it because I like doing it. I mean, subscribe only if you want to, okay? You know, I mean, why do you think at the end of my videos, I always say, hey, you could like or subscribe. It's, it's all up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. Why do you think I always say it's up to you? Because it is all up to you. Like, I have no control on whether you will or won't. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me on much whether you do or don't. It's not like I don't appreciate the fact that you subscribe and you like my videos. The, the fact that I have, see, each subscriber is a person, you know? And that fact I had like our over 60 people on my YouTube channel right now, that means, as of this video, that means uh, that's how many people like seeing my videos. That's how many people want to see my videos. And I appreciate that. Thanks. Really. Thank you. Thanks a lot for that. Just. I don't know, I feel like saying thank you is not enough. The fact that, you know, there's that new people already who like seeing my videos or, yeah, really just, wow. Like, I don't know. Like, I remember earlier in 2018, I started making YouTube videos in 2018 of August. That's only last year, and it's 2019. Well, close to the end of the year of 2019. Since as of this vlog before the year 2020 and a few days after this vlog, but anyway, yeah, that's yeah, so how I've been producing videos are gonna change. So, I'm gonna be doing like seasonal events live stream, I'm gonna be doing live streams, I'm gonna do live recordings over my seasonal events. I've been doing like recorded videos of the seasonal events that I've been doing, and I it's all those playlists you see in the description down below, you can pretty much see those on almost all my videos. Well, you can pretty much see those on just not any video I upload, because they're past seasonal event playlists and descriptions down below, even in this video. 
that's how they then record it you know it's like i see all my videos on my channel like a history a record of how i would improve on making my videos like the newer video is always better than the last kind of thing i always look at my video and i think how can i make the next one better than this last one and too it's like it's like you know it's like a record in history of what i've done so doesn't really like you know, it's just this one doesn't seem all that good or the other you know i just keep practicing keep doing it and get better and better the more i keep making that video you know, one view after the other i will get better over time as i keep just making my videos of this but i'm probably gonna do a live stream over those seasonal events i do that's kind of my whole niche on my channel seasonal events like at the end of this at the end, and I almost said last year, excuse me, I'm recording here, not in my students. But yeah, I'll probably be live streaming more often, like I said I would in my first vlog. Like I used to live stream a lot in 2017. And then when I got closer to, in 2008, I thought, you know, I want to start recording and editing videos. I know I said this in my first vlog too. Recording and editing videos, so I started doing that in 2018. Well, I wanted to still stream as much as I used to, but looks like I might start doing that again because uh, I'm going to be doing seasonal events live since you know time limited events should be done live there and now rather than recorded and then skin try to like upload it later after recording so I do it live and just upload it later uh, after the, the stream is over mostly I probably like just export the VOD or something like that depends on how the VOD well, is if I want to highlight or trim something out a lot or whatever but that's how we be doing so i'll try to record and edit and i'll probably try to record and edit or live stream all at the same time i'll do live stream and record videos like i'll try to do a bit of both because seasonal events time loot events will be done live now in the future as of this video i know i said this in the a few other videos before this one like i did i kind of said this like i should be doing this event live like when i was checking out an event in fortnite a star wars event i said that in a star wars video well not star wars video i said that in a fortnite video as a fortnite event over star wars star wars and fortnite i said that in that video if you remember that video well i'll probably link it in the, up in the corner of this video if you haven't seen that like i mentioned in there that i was gonna do all my seasonal events like you know live reaction streams and things like that speaking of live reaction stream like i said when i said thank you a minute ago which is the whole point of what i'm trying to get to close to the end of the video here which i'm at right now let's ask you do you remember this video you probably remember this video right <laughs> this video right here so yeah what i'm talking about here and I probably put on my headphones when I'm not gonna do that. You probably remember this, right? Don't you? A little bit over here. <laughs> you probably remember this, right? Oh no, this is my channel videos on my YouTube channel. Remember this E3 live reaction stream? Live reaction streams? You know, Google. You can check these out. I'll probably put a link in the description down below <laughs> about. There's a playlist that has all these re these reaction videos. I'm checking out my reaction video channel or whatever, you know. There's, yeah, there's actually a playlist called like U3 Live Reaction Stream. Or, you know, I'll probably put that in the description. If not, link in the corner of this video. But these are all my videos. You probably remember this video, don't you? Right? After Pizza Goon Show, you remember this video here? Just trying to show you, remember this video? Hmm. Remember this? Hmm. Okay, uh, oops. How old am I? Uh, well, where do I look? I look like I'm in my 20s, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I look like I'm you in my, this, I'm my early 20s. Most people think I'm in my early 20s or I'm like 18 or something. Yeah, that's actually kind of true, by the way. Well, yeah, I said it there. You remember this video, right? But. Yeah, that's it for. I was supposed to watch that earlier today, but. I'll just get through this. I you think guys I can watch this Why yourself. Would I do 14th? You guys can watch this yourself, actually. You remember this reaction video? 
Oh. Yeah. 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 It's not a reaction. Yeah. I'm trying to skip the head. It's I was talking to you guys. It's just years. I couldn't watch this. It's, like I said, a bit of what I said in this video I'm, I'm showing you right now is actually what I said in this vlog already. Like, yeah, hey, what do you think how old I am? Like, I look like I'm like, 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 I look like I'm 18 or my early 20s, don't I? I'm actually like, like 30s, like 31 or something. But, hey, that's just the way I look. You know, I look young, but, hey, hey, I'm the ancient. I'm actually like a dude who looks really young. <laughs> that's what it looks like. I think I made that joke in this video. You probably remember this. Too high. Ancient. I'm, I'm actually to... not in my 20s. I look like I'm in my 20s. I look like I'm that young. Yeah, I know. That's I'm, a, I'm, yeah. trying to get, I... I'm trying to get to the point of this video. I'm trying to get to the point. And I look like I'm still in my 20s. And I look like I'm in my 20s sometimes. And I look like I'm in my 20s. There. <laughs> ancient, I live for fa- No, here's the correct answer. I'm actually a deity. I'm actually ancient. I live for thousands of years and I look like I'm in my 20s. There. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I said. Remember that? That was funny. Yeah. We get to- Here we go. Right here. That's funny. Look, yeah. The title says- I don't know, they kind of said it differently. No, I don't say the title. Thank you. Thanks yeah, that's how they are doing. So it's, a no, it's just a year and nobody- I just told you, 31, that's how many years I've lived. Yeah, I was trying to get to that I mean, point really, of the video. That's all, I mean, I, I'm doing this. I mean, what really does it all to do with, like, what that has to do with who you are, character, like, attitude, personality, all that has to do with who you are. Well, I think it's just a number of years. I said I did that already, in the, I said I did that, you guys can watch this video. Uh, for yourself. Yeah, that's, that's Wait, who, saw, who sent that follow? Two buzzers. I started there. getting a bunch buzzer. of follows throughout this Six. video. God, you guys are. I'm just getting so many follows coming in here. I was watching the press conference here. Kind of just ended. <laughs> yeah, I think we got enough, really. Thanks for all the follows. This is what I was yeah. talking about that's when I nice. said thank you. See, like I'm saying. Yeah, I just want to get to the funny oh, point, so... I'll stick that. Well, as we're all here, I'm not quite out sure what else I would really do. Yeah, this is all I was really planning on. Thanks for this. Okay. Action stream. Okay, so I, play, I play a lot I'm of different things. Really. I play good. Wish there was an easy way to be adventurous. Easy way to try something new. Yeah, I like I to kind be of adventurous, like I said there. I still got a chance to end the... You know, they went out. Sadly, I've never played God. I forgot to play some more, but there's some one. Oh, I where's the other the place? The audition console. Anyways, yeah, you guys can check out this video. I just wanted to... I don't know, there's that one. I can't really find much of it in there. You guys were following like crazy throughout that video. Yeah, like nuts. Look at that thumbnail. I like that thumbnail. You guys are... I can't get to that point in the video I'm trying to find in there. But... That's the whole reason for this vlog. I was trying to say thank you to you guys that you guys from Mixer who subscribed. You, I know a lot of my subscribers are from Mixer. For you following me on Mixer, you were had over 800 followers because you guys just followed me like crazy. Like I see in that video. Here's a second one. Insane follows continues. Thank you. Like this. It was literally one whole parcel of the stream. So I wrote it, broken two videos. It actually go on for two hours. You guys were following me like crazy for two hours. See these videos for yourself to get what I'm t talking about. And let me go to this one. This one it really explains what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to get to my point with what I'm trying to talk about. I'm trying to... What the heck? Oh, but the hosts. I know some of these are hosts. Thanks for following and hosting. Oh, I can't keep going and keep hosting it. <laughs> My <laughs> god. That's what I do every time I do a list. Hidden donation page? Stop that, damn gamer. Knock it off. Damn gamer. Damn gamer. Freaking get on. Everyone is following that crazy king. Mad Dill, Michael, Blog, 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 Blog,
Income was oh, I thought it was done there. Come on, people. But thank you though. And yeah. just see what's going on. You're like following me constantly. Yeah, that's part of why I'm showing those videos right there. So I'm trying to get at that. You, you guys remember if you were part of that live stream, that was part of like E3 live reaction stream where I had a bunch of followers coming in like crazy. Follow after follow, like a follow train, non-stop. Kind of probably one of those things where I was just there at the right time, at the right moment. I started getting a bunch of people just... I was even like on front page when that happened. I was like, what the heck? That was during E3, so if you remember that live reaction stream that I did, I was watching a Houston Game and Show press conference. You can see that, by the way, if you want. But... Yeah, I can leave that in the top corner of this video, but yeah, so the playlist top corner of the video I already linked already, but I'm trying to say thanks to you guys who followed me, like, it's all you guys who followed me throughout that last year. I know a large amount of you who followed me on Mixer during that last year. You guys remember that last year, right? Is it ringing a bell? You guys can go back and watch that yourself, because... I know I was skipping through, I was trying to get to why I was, look, the whole point of why I was showing those, those two videos is because, you yeah, had so many people coming and following me like nuts, and I know a lot of my followers on Mixer are also here on YouTube, because I know half of my subscribers on Mixer, well, like, excuse me, half of my subscribers on YouTube are from Mixer. Yeah, you guys, half of you guys I know came from Mixer. So like plenty I remember how I started out with like 12 subscribers or something like that in 2018 at some point over time I suddenly got 50 or around 50 just like that just, and that happened because you guys followed me from, from Mixer you guys came from Mixer and started subscribing to my YouTube channel that's what happened that day and that's why I'm trying to say thank you for that thank you for all those like Follows on Mixer, it's just wow, like really much appreciated. I feel like I can't even say what I'm trying to say. Like, I was trying to explain my point by showing those two videos to you. If you remember that, that live stream, if you were a part of that live stream, and you came from Mixer and subscribed to my YouTube channel, because I know a lot of people from Mixer, you, you'll see that in that. You can see what I'm talking about in those two videos at some point in those videos. And like, what? Just like, I know over like just 50, like, I can't even say what I'm trying to say anymore. This is supposed to be part of this video, is supposed to be a thank you video. Like, I've been trying to say thank you since summer, you know? Since summer, like, and I, that's how long ago I've been trying to make this video. This vlog since summer. Because so I'm trying to thank all you guys for. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on, on Mixer because I know, I know most of my subscribers are from Mixer from that crazy live stream I just showed you after VOD broken into two videos because it was like two hours long. Follow after follow after follow is crazy and watch and see it yourself again. But if you remember that moment, then yeah, thanks. Really, it's just. I'm having a hard time saying what I'm trying to say, and I think saying thank you is not enough, but I know normally it's just gone. Just, yeah, it's, it's hard to put in words of what I'm saying. Really, thank you. Much appreciated. I wish I could just say more than what I'm trying to say here about this. Really, thanks a lot. Honestly. I really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It's just, man, I'm literally getting the stars and three guys or something like that. Like, ugh. I can't even tell what I'm trying to say anymore. Like, I know I'm too much already reached the end of this deal. Like, that was the whole point, part of playing this deal was just to try to say thank you to those guys. And thank you to all those who even, I mean, I know most of you are from Mixer. 
Because the most of you people who follow your links are also subscribed to YouTube. You did. That's where most of you are from. That's why I have so many people on my channel. And I say thank you for that, for being here on my channel. Thank you. And also, thank you for those who just subscribe to my channel from YouTube, from just being here. There's no half of my subscribers are from Mixer, followed from that crazy followers. Thank you for that too. And those who just follow me only from those who are just friends from youtube and follow me from youtube that i can't believe this part of the video is just turning out like this but that video those two videos i was just trying to show you i'm just having a tough time trying to say what i'm trying to say i'm putting the words right now like and i guess i'm trying to express my gratitude basically trying to express how thankful or thank you i am to you guys like appreciate or you know i don't know i'm just so used to being underappreciated that it's like what are the gods what are the chances of that happening like i don't know will i get will i end up having more people just just you know, yeah it's really up to you like i said just don't subscribe unless you really want to because you know i don't want someone to just subscribe or anything, or anything. Not because I'm asking for everything, but do it only if you want to. But really, thanks. Very much appreciate that you guys have done that. And really, if, it, if YouTube were ever to become like a career for me or something like that someday, if it were, then that's not up to me. It's up to you guys. You know, it's, it, I wouldn't be able to do that. If that were to happen, it wouldn't be able to do that if it wouldn't be for you guys, because it's all because of you guys if I were to be able to do that. You know, of course, I wouldn't have gotten there on my own if I knew somehow, if that does somehow happen someday or what, I, who knows. But I just keep making videos like I do because I make them because I enjoy doing them. I, I will continue making videos in the future. I just want to really. Say thank you for subscribing to my channel. It's like, God, I can't say anything else other than that. I'm having a really tough time really trying to express how, you know, thankful I am about that. Just thanks, really. Dry mouth, I keep getting dry. Ah, the only reason I show those videos, like I said, is to get my point across how I'm talking to those people who followed me like crazy throughout that live stream. Because most of you people who were during, who followed me during that live stream also subscribed to my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you for that. If I haven't said that re repeatedly already enough. Okay, I'm probably just going on repeating myself here. This video, yeah, this, this vlog has already gone on like for an hour and such, but I think I'm done saying this all the things I can say for this vlog, you know, because it's, I guess this video didn't take a, take a dark turn. It's weird, I guess the way I keep thinking, I guess how I pictured how this video would turn out inside my head is different from how it actually really did turn out. It's weird, but I don't know, I guess it didn't like really, I don't know, weird. I guess all those things I said at the beginning of the video didn't actually turn out that way throughout this video but yeah i don't know maybe it'll happen some other video i guess i'll explain some bit of what i'm getting out there but i guess i kind of did but again thank you so much guys really thank you i feel like saying thank you is not enough or like i can't even say what i'm having a hard time just putting the words to say just anything else besides thank you i want to say something else but, thank you, but really much appreciated Honestly, just, just wow. I'm like, yeah, really. What are the odds of something like that happening? And thank you for this far. Thank you for having me help me reach, like, you know, up to like 60, over 60 so far. All 60 of you, over, all over 60 of you. Thank you. Really. Very much appreciate it. Thanks for. Watching my videos and such. Really, thank you. Just, yeah, I mean, I just can't. 
having such a hard time trying to see what I'm trying to say. Really just sorry about that. That was an earlier video that was an earlier video of mine. There was two videos I was showing you. You remember that live stream then yeah, okay. Now I'm just going on repeating myself. So yeah, thanks. Really. That was the whole reason why I made that live stream, that live reaction stream over E3 that I just showed you. Those two videos I showed you on the side here. Another PC Gaming Show is what? Watching you guys start following me like crazy constantly. You are part of that and you, you're, you came over here on YouTube. Subscribe, so man. Yes. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking to you. You know that you're the, one of those people I'm talking about. There's like over 50 of you who who came from YouTube. I mean, excuse me. Over 50 of you, like I already said, came from Mixer and found me on YouTube. Just really thanks this video i would make i wanted to make this video like since summer like i already said to say thank you for subscribing thank you for following me like on mixer you know what i'm talking about just thank you really god stop saying thank you just how many times have i said that i just can't say anything else other than that i want to say something else other than that yeah really that's the whole point of that was a that was literally the other point to this video besides me talking about myself. The other point of this video was to just say thank you for being on my channel. So yeah, thank you for being part of my channel. I I guess you could say I have a community. I never thought I would even have a a, a community on YouTube or Mixer where I never thought I would like. What are the odds of me having a community? I guess I do have a community. And I wouldn't like to, you know, maybe, like, somehow interact with you guys somehow. Like, how can I interact with you guys, you know, and such. Really, it's just much appreciated. I can't, I'm having a hard time saying anything else other than whatever I said. Like, I'm having a hard time putting my thoughts. I'm really having a hard time collecting my thoughts. Yeah. Thanks. It's just, I wish I had this video uploaded close to summer, but why am I uploading this close to the end of the year, where it's already like almost twenty year twenty twenty? It's like literally the end of the year two thousand nineteen as we were recording this vlog. So, yeah, can't wait till the year twenty twenty to see what we'll do next and all the videos that I'll be able to schedule and plan for now in the future since I'm doing seasonal events live. Live stream in more often now through my seasonal event videos through live. So I enough about talking about myself and such. Yeah. I feel like I didn't get I basically I felt like I was having a hard time saying what I really wanted to say, but I still said what I wanted to say. You know, I didn't say how I want to say it, but yeah, I guess that's all I can say in conclusion of everything I just said. And, uh, now you know why this is I was born with, or why the hearing aids, and why I had these headphones, I mean, this headband on with these headphones on my head to keep this head, keep this headphones from falling on my head because I had deformed ears and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end this video differently on how I usually end it. I'm not gonna do my normal outro or normal intro, you see, like I done started the video, but yeah, just on this video, I'm probably gonna end it differently and just show you all the different, like, in fact, let me just show you it this way. There's a guy who, if you've seen at the end of most of my videos, my outros and things like that, outros the outro at the end of my videos like there's a guy who who goes by the name boop snoot boop snoot you know he he edits videos for something else i know who goes by the name that mirror who's also who's also a streamer and he well he's a professional game developer but that's somebody else that's dead gamer boop snoot helps dead gamer with his edit videos you now just uh, Loop Loop Snoop, he got his videos, he's, I guess he's like a graphic designer, and he basically helped me with my outros. If you've seen them at the end of some of my videos, my outro scenes, the screens, I'll show you what I'm talking about, basically. 
That's, mm. not, that's pretty much how I'm gonna end this video with those outro scenes, basically. <laughs> you know, because the whole point of that channel is over seasonal events. And first one here, you know, like I said, thanks for watching, you know. That's my, this is for my reaction videos, this outro scene. And you know, basic outro. Yeah, you ever seen this? Yeah, Boop Snoop helped me make these videos. This is Lunar New Year. <laughs> these little bit. Well, yeah. Really, with this said, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. So, with that said, yeah, like I always say, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> See you next time. Go through each summer. Huh. My season. Thank you for watching. That's like Halloween horror. <laughs> really. Much appreciated, guys. And that's for winter. My season. It also has some GIF ones, too. This one's for Lunar New Year. Like I said, thanks for watching. Lunar New Year. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see, see the GIF ones on live stream. You can see that in my live streams. Boop Snoot, I want to say thank you to him for helping me make these outros. Outro streams. This is one for spring. You know, spring seasonal events. Lunar New Year seasonal events. You know. Uh, summer. You probably remember this. Uh-huh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. My vlog, third vlog. <laughs> and as for Halloween, <laughs> I can see these on the live streams mostly. And last but not least, winter for Christmas holiday season events. <laughs> like I said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.